be a good day. Even if I make it myself, it's gonna be a good day. I don't need no one else, I'm gonna have a good day. Nothing wrong I could do, I'm gonna have a good day. Hope you have a good day too. Good morning, I'm Trish Pahanik, and this is Synopsis, your first early morning briefing. Kicking off the work week, it's Monday, August 6th, 2007, and here is today's top story. The Gay and Lesbian Alliance Against Defamation released its first GLAAD Network Responsibility Index today. The report mapped the quantity, quality, and diversity of images of LGBT people on network television. It looked at primetime programming on the five major broadcast networks, ABC, CBS, The CW, Fox, and NBC for a 12-month period beginning last June 1st of 2006. Each network was assigned a grade based on GLAD's findings for each network and the percentage of primetime hours in which there were LGBT uh, representations. Here's how the networks ranked. ABC received a good rating as GLAD determined 15% of its primetime programming hours included LGBT representations. The CW had a fair with 12% of its programming hours being LGBT inclusive. CBS received a fair as well with just 9% just as NBC received a fair uh, which was once home to Will and Grace they were given a 7%. Fox received a failing grade with only 6%. We have more coming up next, but first this message from the Jaconi Advertising Agency. And remember, if you had a promo or a commercial in this video, we'd all be watching your stuff right now. I'm back. Oh, what do you got? Uh, we just got back the reader review cards from the new cologne. The one that smells like a wet dog? Uh, I wish some of the readers were that gracious. The only one that didn't compare it to a bodily function said it smelled like old meat. Old meat? It's going to need a great name. Coming up under Morgan's stuff, NBC orders another season of two summer reality series, CW pushes up launch of Gossip Girl by one week, Fox outbids CBS for new drama series, and TNT orders truth in advertising. NBC ordered up additional seasons of summer reality series America's Got Talent for a third term and last comic standing for a sixth. The CW has pushed up the premiere day of Gossip Girl by one week, with the debut now scheduled for September 19th at 9 o'clock, which immediately follows the premiere of America's Next Top Model. And no worries, if you're still trying to keep all the dates straight, consider downloading the 2007-2008 Fall Primetime Broadcast Network schedule, which is on the homepage at www.synopsis.com. BBC America presents the U.S. premiere of the comedy series Lead Balloon, co-written and starring Jack D. on September 8th at 10 p.m. The storyline centers on Rick Spleen, a well-known stand-up comedian who is disillusioned with his life and career. The Daily Show's Indecision 2008 is ramping up, and on the ramp are four presidential hopefuls. Senator Joseph Biden is on this Wednesday. Senator John McCain is scheduled for August 16th. Governor Tommy Thompson on the 20th, and Barack Obama finishes up on the 22nd.
Moving along to production and development and its two items today. Fox's new president of entertainment, Kevin Riley, outbid CBS and signed a series deal for a new drama produced by Sean Ryan and 20th Century Fox Television. The untitled program is about the residents of a haunted house over several decades. Michael Cuesta is expected to direct and executive produce. TNT agreed to another drama project, Truth in Advertising, from the producing team of Greer Shepard and Michael Robin. The network is expected to order the pilot episode written by the closer writer-producers Hunt Baldwin and John Coveney and produced by Warner Horizon TV. The drama is about the fast-paced world of advertising and the overly ambitious young executives at the Rothman Green and Mar Agency. Moving you right into the rating summary for last Thursday night, according to Live Plus Same Day Ratings from Nielsen Media Research, Fox was the leader of the pack Thursday night with a 3.210 adult 18-49. Fox led a double whammy the first two hours. At 8 o'clock, don't forget the lyrics, did a 2.910 to win. And during 9 o'clock, So You Think You Can Dance, shimmied into first place with a 3.511. CBS stood alone at 10 p.m. as the Without a Trace re- rerun delivered a 2.47 to be number Number one. Your daily myth reads like this. Fish lay eggs prior to producing offspring. Not always true. There are a number who give birth to living young, including sea perch and several kinds of sharks and whales. Who knew? Well, that's a wrap for today. Be sure to check your email for the full printed version of today's synopsis with new executive moves and more on ratings, loads of new classified ads, a few of the stories that didn't make it into this podcast, and, of course, tonight's primetime broadcast lineup. The music in synopsis was composed and performed by David Stango. This podcast is a synopsis media production in association with 311 West. For Cynthia Turner, who wrote and compiled synopsis in Connecticut, I'm Trish Pahanek. I'm going to have a good day, even if I make it myself. I'm going to have a good day. I don't need no one else. I'm going to have a good day. Nothing wrong I could do. I'm going to have a good day. Hope you have a good day, too.